Yo, what's going on guys? It's Peter, PB Sneaks, and welcome back to another video. It's been a crazy long time since my last upload. I think it's been close to three years, so I don't know who's gonna be watching this. If you are a subscriber, if it's just popping up on your feed randomly, I don't know what the algorithm's looking like nowadays, but welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, we're just gonna be kind of showcasing some stuff throughout this past summer that I've been uh, reselling now that I'm done with school and have some have had some free time to get back into the sneaker game. I've definitely been out of it for a while, but I've always loved staying up to date with the new drops. I would definitely say it's changed, but um, there's always gonna be that community that, uh, that revolves around sneakers and it's always funny to see the new trends and stuff. So yeah, let me know how you guys have been doing though, what you guys are interested in and what you guys wanna see honestly, cause I'm not sure if this exact content is what you guys like, but yeah, it's just gonna be a typical kind of like the week in the life in a reseller re series. Um, and then maybe I'll mix in sh some uh, short form content too, like on Instagram and maybe some travel videos or uh, stuff going on in the city. But yeah, since this is the first video back, if you guys don't mind leaving a like, comment and subscribing if you're new, it would really mean the world. And drop a comment about a drop that you're super excited about uh, coming up in the near future. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right guys, uh, so the first package from the Kith Marvel drop just came in and then this one we had one of the two clocks that hasn't sold yet and then one of the posters that we already sold on eBay so I'll throw up the picture there for that sale and yeah, I'll check back in with you guys once we get more. Hopefully some stuff that I can actually show you guys because I don't want to take this stuff out of the boxes. Until then, peace. What's going on guys? So we actually ended up winning the auction, so I'll put that up right here. And luckily the pickup location was super close to my home, so it's only gonna take a bit to get there, not too long. So yeah, let's get in the car and go pick this up up. And when I come back, I'll show you guys everything that we got. Peace. All right guys, we just got back from picking everything up and then this is the stuff that I kind of filtered out. Uh, half this stuff I'm probably gonna keep and the other stuff I'm gonna sell. That way I can make some money off of it, but then also get to keep some stuff. This Aaron Judge Game of Thrones bobblehead is super cool and was brand new. All these baseballs we should be able to get some decent money for. Same with these bobbleheads and these signed pictures. Uh, this is a limited edition thing too. And then we were also able to get this super cool core four. Um, so I'm gonna be keeping that for sure, but then some of this stuff definitely we're gonna sell, but I'll update you guys with exactly what we sold for how much and yeah catch you guys in that this is some of the stuff from the yankees auction that we won that i'm just gonna end up giving away just because we can't really sell any of it so hopefully somebody gets it and enjoys it but yeah this is all kind of just cool stuff but i have no use for it so just gonna give it all away all right guys, so the Kith Marvel, all the tees, the clock, and then some of the posters just came in. Honestly, some pretty cool t-shirts. Um, and these were all already sold on eBay before they came in, so I'll throw up all the price that I paid and sale prices for all this stuff. And yeah, these two are the posters that kind of like a different material, and this one's just the typical one. So yeah, I'll show on the screen everything that we paid and sold for, and hopefully the shoes come in soon. All right guys, we just had three more items sell, two from the Yankee lot that we bought. So we sold this Bugs Bunny kind of framed limited edition thing for $70 plus, $70 plus shipping. And then this Yankees quarter zip kind of thing, warm up jersey sold for I think around $28 after free, but I'll pop both uh, up on the screen. And then these over here, these are the Ben Gable Knits Asics collab, super limited, super rare. They cost like 400 something dollars retail and I originally wanted to buy a pair to wear, but the size 11, uh, I got declined due to fraud. And then by the time that I authorized it, they sold out. So I scooped up a size 12, hoping I could fit them. But unfortunately they were a bit too big and I've just had them listed since I got them for about 650 and then they randomly sold for 650. Um, so I was able to make a bit of money and then hopefully I'll keep an eye out for a size 11 that I can buy to wear, but yeah. Until some more stuff sells, guys, I'll uh, update you guys. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these in the comments. I definitely really like the shoe, but I don't know about the price point, given that it's just a typical A61130 with some charms on it, but overall, very unique. Each pair is different. So this is kind of the charms on this one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Honestly, I really like them and hoping that I can find a size 11. Peace. Hey guys, so we just got the pair in. Uh, this is from the Kith Marvel collection and this is the Green Goblin pair in a size seven and a half. So I was able to get early access and I was able to order two pairs. I got a Silver Surfer and like a size six. 
and I sold that one on eBay as soon as the drop happened for 500. So I'll throw that up right here. And due to the shipping delays, it took them like over a month to ship them uh, out. And I wanted to get them out ASAP. Also, I sold them on eBay, so I didn't really feel comfortable opening it up and looking at the comic. I wanted that to happen for them. So this one though, I still haven't sold and it's a seven and a half. So I figured why not? unbox it and kind of show you guys what it looks like i did look at the box though and it was super super cool so it kind of comes in like this paper thing that keeps it all together and then the actual box itself it's a pretty cool design on it i think it's much much better than the other um collaboration that they did with the uh, trading cards and the, that whole ordeal this box looks 10 times better in my opinion so yeah it's just sealed with this little thing right here so let's go ahead and crack it open i'm just gonna peel it off all right and let's see how we do this okay so it's kind of like a vertical on the view okay so here's the box and the comic looks like to be underneath here so you guys can see first if you got anything i don't know uh, unfortunately we just got like the typical comic the most common one um so yeah just the normal one in this one unfortunately but let's still give you guys a look at the shoes let's see what these look like these are kind of like a bag All right, do these. So, pretty, pretty cool. Looks like some special insoles with uh, characters on it. Oh, that's a pretty cool detail in the back of them right there. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know, let me know your guys' thoughts of the entire collection overall. I was able to get a few t-shirts and stuff too. I was able to sell all that. I honestly love these drops uh, when they do such cool collaborations and especially when I'm able to get early access and kind of pick and choose a few things to get. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments and if you guys got anything from the order and you got a better comic than me. But yeah, until some more stuff comes, I'll catch you guys. Peace. All right, guys, a few more things sold over the weekend. So we were able to sell both the Yogi Bear bobbleheads that we got in the big Yankees lot for about 20 bucks each after fees on eBay, which I'll throw up. And then on this clock, I ended up just taking a small loss on it just to kind of move on. We made enough money with the drop overall that I was okay with losing, you know, 10 bucks just to move on. And then this is just an old pair of uh, KD6 basketball shoes that I kind of just had lying around. I've had posted on GOAT for a super long time and I was able to sell them. Um, but yeah. This was a great basketball shoe back in the day, and I'm definitely looking to get another pair, just maybe something that, you know, a different colorway, but yeah, on the Yankees lot, we're uh, looking good, so um, yeah, I'll catch you guys once we make some more sales, peace. Alright guys, so we just made this sale for the other clock, and again, like the other one, we're going to take a small loss on it, probably lose like 10 or $15, but it's all good because we made enough with the two pairs of shoes and all the t-shirts that we got, so I wasn't too worried about that. And then I'll pop up a picture right here. All of my friends made fun of me when I bought this thing, but I ended up bidding and winning a Range Rover SVR exhaust. Um, and I paid around like 225 and then I had to rent a U-Haul to go pick it up, which was another 75-ish. So I think around $300 all in for it. And we're making a sale tomorrow for it. Some local buyers coming to pick it up and he's paying a thousand. So I uh, just wanted to update you guys before the sale happens. And then once I get the money, I'll show you guys and that should wrap up the video, but yeah. I'll catch you guys tomorrow when we make the sale, but until then, peace. Hey guys, so this is the exhaust that I was talking about. It's for a 2021 Range Rover Sport SVR and it's pretty much in brand new condition. So for only 220 plus the U-Haul cost, I definitely knew it was a good deal because I looked it up online and it showed almost like 5,000. So I wasn't sure how long it would take to find a buyer, but I definitely knew I would be able to make some money off of it. So he's on his way over right now with a trailer to pick it up, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looked like before we made the deal happen, but yeah, this is definitely one of the more obscure items I've ever resold in my career. Um, definitely don't think I'll ever do this again, but yeah, I mean, it's good money. So I'll catch you guys once we make the deal. Hey guys, we just got done with the deal. We got the thousand dollars cash for the exhaust. It was a super smooth transaction and a really nice group of people. Um, super fortunate that it worked out in this way. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know 
who's gonna watch this, how many people. It's been a really, really long time, but it felt really fun to make this video again and kind of show you guys what I was doing this summer, trying to make a few dollars, uh, obviously buying and reselling some crazy uh, stuff, definitely not just sneakers. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought, what you guys think the next video should be about, maybe another sneaker mystery box. I don't know if you guys still like that or not. But yeah, you guys gotta let me know, but I hope you guys have a great day. I really appreciate you guys if you guys watched this video. And yeah, until the next video, I'll catch you guys. Peace.